Hi, the purpose of this video is to review the Hornady VMAX bullets. And every one that we've tried, the 40 grain, the 50 grain, and the 55 grain, have been very accurate and very easy to load for, both in two uh, 23 Remington as well as in the triple deuce. There is a Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son. Precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. All right, but first let me talk about the importance of prayer because we do, we, we practice, we develop our loads, we test the accuracy of our rifles, but when it's time to actually shoot a critter, sometimes you just need God's help. And on one memorable occasion, I, I shot a running coyote out the window. I was raising sheep. And we had, it was lambing season coming up, and we had the sheep in a pen pretty close to the house. And I had the 223 leaning against the window. And uh, my plan was if a coyote showed up, just to open the window and shoot the coyote uh, because it was that time of year. And I looked out the window and I noticed all the sheep were scared. And my wife had been praying that I'd get this coyote and I'd been praying that I'd get this coyote. I, I didn't see the coyote yet, but all the sheep were scared and staring off into the same direction. And I, I looked in that direction too and eventually I saw the coyote. But when I opened the window, it made a little noise and the coyote started running away. And this was my best shot ever after prayer. Uh, you know, get uh, get the rifle uh, pointed at the Cody as quick as I can. Steady sight, picture, gentle trigger squeeze. Uh, by then, the coyote was about 75 yards away. Uh, dropped the coyote. And the interesting thing about that is, in back in those days, for shooting out the window, I had a 40 grain VMAX kind of downloaded with blue dots so it wouldn't be too loud and wake all the children when I shoot something out the window. And so this was a reduced low with blue dot. And those, those 40 grain V-Maxes with the blue dot, I could load anywhere from 4 grains to 14 grains of blue dot, hit a velocity range anywhere from about 1,200 feet per second to about 2,800 feet per second, and, and really dial it in, and, and uh, the accuracy was good with that bullet with that whole range. Of course, you can also go with a, a full power load like Varget or whatever, and, and get over 3,200 feet per second with that bullet if, uh, if that's how you're developing the load. Um, we've also shot a lot of the 55 grain uh, VMAX bullets and great on varmints. And we also, this one's accurate enough with a little low tweaking uh, to shoot it in F class. Yeah, we'll actually shoot the, uh, the VMAX bullet in F class matches at 300 yards and at 600 yards, either out of the triple deuce or out of the 223. Now, it's not the best F class load ever because it's a 55 grain bullet. Its ballistic coefficient is like 0.25 or something. And it does move a lot in the wind once you get out past 300 yards. Uh, but it's a really good practice and training load and we use it in F-class matches as we're bringing new shooters up the learning curve because we find that new shooters learn to read the wind faster if they start out with a lighter bullet that moves a little more in the wind. It also allows us to shoot F-class with a slow twist uh, triple deuce with a 1 in 14 twist and a slower twist uh, 223 with a 1 in 12 twist. And so we can just keep rolling and it's useful. And by, by saying it's easy to load accurately, I mean uh, just about any load I try gets one minute of angle. Uh, with these bullets and with a little low tweaking even in an inexpensive rifle it's not too hard to get six tenths uh, of a minute and that's pretty good for an inexpensive bullet shooting them in inexpensive uh, rifles uh, so it does double duty as a match bullet and as a varmint bullet we've also measured the ballistic coefficients and they're always consistent with what Hornady claims uh, in their marketing materials, and that's not true of all bullets. Uh, Nosler ballistic tips, we've noticed Nosler uh, consistently exaggerates the ballistic coefficients, but we've measured the ballistic coefficients of the Hornady bullets, the Hornady VMAX bullets, and we've done it in different ways. We use a dual chronograph method with one chronograph at the muzzle, one chronograph at 100 yards, measure the velocity at each, put it in the JBM ballistics calculator. We've also measured their ballistic coefficients with the lab radar 
and uh, we believe them. They're reliable. Now, one downside of the Hornady VMAX bullets is that in full power loads, uh, we've tried these in a faster twist barrel, like a one in seven twist barrel, and they don't work. They explode in flight, probably due to the thin varmint uh, bullet jacket, uh, so you don't get hits on the target. You see little white or gray puffs of air, you know, out 50 or 100 yards in front of the target as the bullet uh, kind of explodes in, in flight due to the fast twist. Uh, the other thing that we noticed, we've tried the 110 grain VMAX out of a 30 odd 6 you know, think, oh, wow, boy, it'd be great to hit those varmints at 3,400 feet per second with the 110 grain bullet and watch them explode. Uh, it just was, we weren't able to work up uh, a load that was very accurate at all, not accurate enough for varmints uh, out of the 30 odd 6 rifle. So, our favorite 30 odd 6 varmint bullet is the 125 grain Nosser ballistic tip. Works great on farm, it works great on deer. We had to stick with that because the 110 grain VMAX uh, didn't work. We did, in a few cases, uh, shoot a few deer at about 25 yards with that 110 grain VMAX at 3,400 feet per second. Uh, those deer died quickly. Uh, we didn't experience what some may have expected as a penetration problem. Make a good shot, hit them in the lungs, don't hit any bones other than the ribs. Uh, those deer die pretty quickly. Uh, but that's really not what uh, the VMAX bullets are designed for. Uh, we love them on varmints. Uh, we like them uh, in match applications. And this is actually, one. Of, let me talk about this in the triple deuce, because the triple deuce uh, we have is a 1 in 14 twist. And in that slow twist rate, uh, there aren't many bullets with much ballistic coefficient that you can find and our experience is the 55 grain VMAX has about the highest ballistic coefficient we can find in that low twist rate. Outstanding accuracy. Uh, we shoot it on varmints. We shoot it in F class out to 600 yards. So, you, you know, everybody is surprised when I show up at the F class match or one of my students shows up at the F class match uh, with that triple deuce. Uh, and then they're pleased. Everybody's pleased with the scores. I tremble at the thought of judgment day Lord, I am not ready Please don't return Just yet for all my sins are and put away My cross is on the floor And I would burn